Here's a video on how to get a pointer from Cheat Engine into Python using the read-write memory module in Python. First, you'll need something to point to. In this case, here's the Cheat Engine tutorial. And this is step 8, which has multi-level pointers. In this tutorial, you can change the value of this pointer. And you'll notice that in Cheat Engine, this pointer here, the value keeps changing. If I double click on this pointer, we can see the offsets. The base address is the executable name, tutorial i386.exe, plus 2426E0. Now, this is the base address of the pointer. Then, these are all the offsets, reaching the final address, which contains our value. If we want to actually see the real memory address of tutorial i386.exe plus this offset, what we can do is copy this value, add an address manually, paste that in here, and just click OK. And you can see that the address is 006426E0 in this case. This is just an example. It's going to be different depending on what you do. So now, we can simply subtract 2426E0, this value, from this address, and we get a value of 400000 hex. Now we have everything we need to be able to interface with the read-write module in Python and be able to modify and read our process's memory. So here's the Python program that I wrote. So we have our tutorial i386.exe address that we figured out using the calculator. Then here's the static address offset. This is the offset of the base address that leads us to this static address. A static address is one that doesn't change when you close and reopen the executable. Now we take the base address and add the static address offset to it to get this resulting value. Really, we could have just used this value on its own, but it's easier if you have other pointers which, with different offsets like this to store those separately. Now, if we open up this pointer and look at those offsets, we have C, 14, 0, and 18. So I've stored those in a list in Python. C, 14, 0, and 18. Now, we create an instance of the read-write memory module. Then, we open the process by getting the process by its name, in this case, tutorial i386.exe. Then, we open the process. Now, we save a pointer by getting a pointer at the static address and with the offsets provided. Now we can use the read-write module to read the value into this variable that I've called pointer value. Now my script po prints out this value. Then my script prompts the user for input to enter a value to overwrite. So I'm going to demonstrate now that using this Python script, we can both read and write this value. First, I'll do it in Cheat Engine. We can see changing the value obviously updates the one in Cheat Engine. And if I change this, it doesn't update the program necessarily because the program isn't actually designed to read that value being changed. However, if we were to read that value via some other means, we would see that it indeed changed. I'm going to also do that when I demonstrate the Python script. So I'm going to change this value again. So 3015. So when I run this Python script, you're going to see value 3015, and then it's going to prompt me for a value. There we go. So that is proof that I've read this process of memory using Python. Now I'm going to enter a value, 1337. There, now I've set the value. If we go to Cheat Engine, there, it's been updated to 1337, even though I didn't change that in Cheat Engine or this program. So that is a successful demonstration of reading and writing memory using Python. Thank you.